Hi guys, my name's Kez, welcome to my channel. For today's video I've decided to do another one of the Japanese DIY food kits. Today I've done the, if I held it up the right way up it would be more helpful, I did the donuts kit. Um, and they turned out okay, I wouldn't say great, they went okay. Um, so keep on watching to see how I did. Welcome to my coffee table. So I've gotten everything out of the box to save a bit of time. I do apologise if you can see any pug fur on the table. I did clean the table first, but someone decides to shed like crazy and it is absolutely like a disease. And he's staring at me right now, but you guys can't see that. Um, so these look exciting. <laughs> I'm really excited about the sprinkles. Um, I've got the English instructions next to me because unfortunately I can't read Japanese. And let's get started. So the first thing I've done, and off camera because it does take a little bit of time, is I've cut off all the little bits. This is our mixing bowl. Uh, these are our molds for the donuts. And these, I think they're more mixing bowls. Oh, better have them on screen. I think they're more mixing bowls, but I'm not sure. First thing we're gonna make is the, the instructions say custom flavored donut. So, I'm not sure what that means. So that's the yellow, big yellow packet. It smells a bit funky, but sure. And I've already made a mess. There's a surprise to no one. Okay. And then it says to... How much water? Oh. Okay, so apparently you have to put the water in the thing first. Okay. We can fix this. Okay, I'm going to put the powder in here. And then you have to fill this little... You can't fully see, but there's a little depression in there. You have to fill that with water. And then put the powder in. <laughs> so now we're making more mess to literally no one surprise. That probably won't matter, will it? And then it says to use the bottom of the spoon to mix this all together. After that, use your hands to knead the dough into the bowl. Luckily, I thought I had my grab a drinking board from the kitchen. I thought it might be the case. It's probably a ball or something like that. They're roughly the same size. Roughly. Alright, to the side. Now, we're not going to make the same mistake again. To make the chocolate one. So, I'm gonna have a tiny bit of custard flavor in it. The balls in the picture look so much better than my two little bowls but eh I didn't smell this one before I put it in it smells like um <gasps> Nesquik what it smells like sometimes when you're mixing these it really feels like you haven't put enough water in and I'm really getting the feeling that I didn't put enough water but let's, let's just keep going. So drawn. Maybe 
be all just pour it out. Oh, that was a terrible idea. And then knead it together with my hands because the spoon just wasn't working for me. Uh, actually, it's working. Ah, oh, get out of here, pear. And we just need the bowl. Okay, so we'll make the fancy looking one first. I don't know if we should like try and make the I don't know if we should try and make the like teddy bear or the koala or the other ones that it's displayed on the directions or if we should just try and, I don't know, make an actual donut first before we try and get too fancy with it. I feel like I have too much dough. Oh no. I wish you could see my face at the moment. It keeps failing. Oh, there you go. We did it. One donut down. Three to go. Make a regular. Feels like a totally different consistency to the uh, chocolate one. Also, I don't know how they use, like end up like donuts if we can't, if we're not microwaving. There's also a packet called Crunch. into the flower mold. Out of the flower mold. That one failed a tiny bit, but I'm not an expert. Let me just tidy up for a minute and I'll be right back. They're all ready for decorations. Now what we need to do is we need to make the vanilla sauce. Ah, that's what this is for. Okay. So in these, there's a little heart in one of them and a little star in the other and they're to make two different sauces. Um, so we'll be first making the vanilla sauce, which is in this little touch of here. Now I might move these a bit more over here and we'll grab them in a sec. Huh? 
smells like vanilla. And to no one's surprise, again, I have spilled. Then it's one triangle of water. I'm curious to see how I will be using this because uh, it's like a sauce and it's not really showing me how to decorate it. So. Break that excess off, and next we've got the strawberry, which is this section here, this red section. And again, it's one triangle of water. Okay, so now we've got our two sauces, and I'm going to place that over the other. And we're back. Um, the memory card filled up, so nothing happened. Didn't miss anything. Um, so, where were we up to? Okay, so we're making the chocolate sauce, which is this packet here. And just in the big mixing container. Okay, so this one, once again, just needs one triangle of the water. And it says once you get the right consistency, grab this little bag, which you, uh, you can see it a bit better now. And I fixed up the lines because they were annoying. And then, much like a packing bag, fill it up. Okay, so we've got our donuts, our chocolate sauce, our strawberry sauce, and our vanilla sauce. We've also got something called crunch, which is in that packet, and some sprinkles, which I'm just chucking off camera for shits and kicks, really. Um, so, I think we should do the strawberry on this first chocolate donut. And one donut. Looks a bit sad. Let's put this crunch on. No, we were making this a donut, even though it doesn't look like Oh, the crunch looks kind of cool. Now with this one, I think we might just try and slather the vanilla. 
Okay, so the vanilla looks really wrong. Okay, so we've dropped it upside down as well. I think we can save it with the chocolate sauce. So I'm mixing the vanilla with the straw proof of a last donut, just to try and use up as much as possible. This is my fail donut, so what I'm thinking is make a monster. So these are my four donuts. We started off from actually trying to making one actually look good to I don't even know and monster. Um, so those are the donuts. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Um, they were a lot harder to decorate than they were to make. Um, so I've got one in my hand, Winston staring very intently at it, um, so I'll try it now. I'm actually really scared. The icing is covering my hand at the moment, so hopefully I don't die. So I've got the chocolate one that I tried to make into a Simpsons donut that failed miserably. A lot less wrong than the um, the hamburgers were, but I don't because they're not microwave. They're just kind of like raw dough, and it kind of has the texture of eating play dough with sprinkles. Another fail DIY. <laughs> <laughs> for me um, but thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos from me every Saturday I tend to upload at 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time every Saturday and I also upload a weekly vlog every Sunday um, so I'll see you next week bye hi guys my name is Winston the Pug and this is my channel for this week's video, I'm going to lick mum. <laughs> Hello, I am Winston the Pug. I enjoy long walks on the beach, pooping, and licking mum. Please find me a puggy girlfriend ASAP. Okay. Bye. Taking a picture when you're focusing. I can see a pug fur in this.